and welcome to this week's episode of Get Real with the English Sisters, Sisters where we'll be talking about yeah the 80 20 percent rule of life and anyway our take on it our take our on interpretation it. of it because it is slightly different isn't it it is indeed <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoy watching our episode please do come and like it on Instagram. We're at what are we? Get real with the English sisters. At get real with the English sisters. Yeah. And YouTube, wherever we YouTube, are, we're everywhere. The English aren't we? sisters, yeah. Yeah. We're all over the place. And so yeah, we really do appreciate it when you come and comment and you like it and you share it and everything else, you know. So please do support us in this. Because it does take an effort to make a podcast, but we do still enjoy <laughs> making them so much. And we hope you do too. And we'd like to sort of hear back from you. Get some... It's great to connect. Yeah, and to get some feedback, isn't it? It yeah. is. Anyway, so today we're going to be talking about the 80-20%, <laughs> our interpretation of this. Because we do know that this rule was by Vilfredo Pareto, an Italian economist, who kind of said or he discovered that uh, 20% of the Italian population were actually doing most of the work whereas the 80% hang on a minute I'm just going to make sure I want to do <laughs> get someone else to do the work for you <laughs> okay he observed that 80% of income sorry yes well more or less the same thing in Italy was received by 20% of the Italian population the assumption is that most of the results in any situation are determined by a small number of causes. Right. Right, so that's so a bit... small. A small number of causes. But in our particular case, I was thinking about how really I and you have always kind of lived by, okay, not <laughs> being perfectionist, but getting things done kind of to 80 percent and that's kind of good enough for us in order to live a decent uh, life <laughs> <laughs> to a decent but you know kind of a non-stressed life well at least at school I like I, I mean I wasn't aiming for all A's no <laughs> and neither were you well I tried to we tr did you really try that much I did want no them. you wanted them but you did not strive that hard otherwise you probably would have got them you were I did not get the, quite a few. Yeah, but you were not the kid that would study like until midnight no, to get them no. and overthink things and overgo. You would say, okay, if I get it, I get it. And if I don't well, get it, yeah, I, I, I thinking, still want to go and watch Little House well, on the Prairie or whatever. You I mean, when you're little, it's difficult because you can't, your character's not that formed, is it? But when I, I can remember when I was at university, I was always a B. Exactly. I didn't go for the Come on, <laughs> come on. You were going for the B and that was fine. You were just yeah. saying, look, I want to enjoy my life and if I pass, I pass. No, you wanted to pass. No, I wanted it, to pass. pass was definitely what well, that does enter. It had, 80%, I had to pass. Doesn't it? You had to pass, yeah. I had to pass. And I didn't want to just get like a third. I wanted you to didn't get... want to fail. No. no, but I didn't just want to get a like average no. wanted to be above a good a good, a good yes a good good enough <laughs> good enough that's what I was thinking you know this kind of good enough philosophy in life may be very irritating for an like a perfectionist to hear but maybe if you could apply it to some areas of your life you'd sure feel less stress and less anxiety well, yeah, so I think I think with um, with everything we've always done that we're just trying to be our best. But good enough is good enough. Exactly. So you'll 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 go. For, we aim for the best, yes. but then we don't kill ourselves trying to get it. Exactly. Or over or obsess over about trying to get that. You know, that anything, whatever anything. it is, you're working on. Like if I host a a, a dinner uh, with some <laughs> friends, which is rare, which is rare because I. <laughs> can't really be bothered <laughs> um, but I don't know whether he's bothered yeah it's just not really my thing it's not your cup of tea no is it? but like I I will host it to the to the best of my abilities but once the people are here and where and I look at their faces and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves and having fun that's fine. If the table is not set to perfection, if the food isn't, oh my gosh, no, that's not exactly how I wanted it to look. The cake's got a bit of a hole in it or something has happened <laughs> that, 
you know, like it didn't rise properly or something, I'm not going to go nuts and, and ruin my evening with my friends because of that. Hey, you'd probably have a bit of a laugh if the cake didn't rise, wouldn't you? Well, of course, but we're, knowing what we're like and our group of friends, <laughs> we just eat it anyway. <laughs> but that I know that can be very upsetting for some people, for example. Yes. You know, my son, he's a perfectionist. Yeah. So the food has to be perfect. Otherwise, the dinner is not right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, his mood will change. Mm. And, um, you know... Th it, it... So what advice would you give him? Or someone like you that, that may be feeling like this? I'd say look around you. Look around at the table like what I just <laughs> said before. Are people enjoying themselves? <laughs> Are they having fun? Is it just you, your internal perfectionism that's getting in the way of you even being able to savour that moment, let alone the food? Think about that. You know, is it you getting in the way of you and what your standards are supposed to be? You know, you, you... So do you think perfectionism is the problem then? Is that what's taken away from the 80-20 thing? I think trying to be 100% and trying to get 100% of everything in life is, it, it, it's, it's overwhelming, extremely tiring. You may be able to get 100% of one area of your life and do something to 100%, but then the other areas of your life are just inevitably not going to be like that because we're humans, we're not androids. <laughs> Even androids, you know, we're flawed, they, aren't we're, we? We're, we're imperfect. <laughs> we have moments where our emotions may get in the way and things might not be. It's, what's the point of like, for example, in the dinner scenario, having everything to be so perfect, the crystal, the silverware, everything is perfect. Well, I mean, people enjoy that, don't they? Oh, that's beautiful. It can be beautiful. You can have beautiful flowers and have everything beautiful. But then if you're inside feeling overwhelmed stressed out because the effort that took <laughs> and you it kind of ruins the point of it you 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 won't be able to really enjoy yourself well you won't will you you well won't. i won't no. because uh, i guess <laughs> that's the way my rule is 80 percent is good enough for me so if the food is good and 80% the food is pretty good yeah, to be 80% good. Yeah, if it's good. bad, the food? If it oh, all goes bad. If it's bad, who cares? If we're, it's rotten. We're, rotten? Yeah. We'll just order a pizza or something. Exactly. We'll still have fun and we can have a laugh about it. Okay, the the food didn't come out. I mean, rotten it. <laughs> what have you done? But Well, yeah, if it got burnt or something. Oh, got burnt, absolutely, yes. Yeah, or if it was off. You buy something and then you look in the fridge and it's off. I mean, for many people, that would ruin their evening, give them massive... Yeah, I mean, like, luckily nowadays we can order. We, we Even in yeah, our ordering. little country area here in Italy, they've got services where you can actually order food. Well, the food is delicious when you order it. Yeah, so I've just run out. I'd <laughs> run out and get some pizza or something or just quickly make a plate of pasta. Yeah. I mean, just change it's something, not, improvise. Not, yeah, it's not that difficult, is it? Not really. It's, I think it's, it's not difficult. difficult. It's your mind it's isn't the mind in the right mindset. place. Exactly. The mindset has to be calm. Yes. <laughs> That's it, the mindset. In relationships as well, things aren't always 100%. In a relationship with two people that love each other, there's so many ups and downs. I mean, if you're in any kind of relationship, parents, people that love, you're in a romantic, whatever it is, you'll realise this as well. Living by the 80% rule can really be helpful. Well, yeah, because you look for your perfect partner, don't you? And yeah. then you're never going to find them. No. Because you're not perfect yourself. So how do you expect someone else to be? Exactly. So if 80% of the time you're feeling good close to that person, then that's pretty awesome. Well, I, I think would say that's, that's, a good, that's amazing. That's a good benchmark. That's it for, for you as well if you're worried about your relationship. Because yeah. I was reading a lot about like toxic relationships and things recently. If you're worried about your relationship, you think, am I in the right relationship? Yeah. 
you can think that if eighty yeah. percent of the time it's good, it's good. Then it that, then that, that's good enough. That's brilliant. If eighty yeah. percent of the time it's good, and but if only you that find that eighty percent of the time you're arguing bad. or yeah. it's bad, then maybe it's time to t- to to make a change. Yes. or change things up a bit. Definitely. If eighty percent of the time you're not enjoying yourself, I mean, literally, maybe not even enjoying yourself. You don't feel you comfortable. Don't feel okay. Yes, you don't feel comfortable around that particular person, then maybe yes, especially in a romantic relationship. Yeah, or if that person's making life difficult for you, because a lot of people will make life hell for you, and you'll think, "Why? What? What's wrong with me?" Yes, yeah, you, you and, yes. and it's not you; it's the other person that's making your life difficult because they've got their own issues. Yeah, that, that's right. That is and correct. They need their own therapy. Yes, yes, definitely. So you know that is what it's. If 80% of the time it's okay, everything is great, really, basically. And I feel that that's how I've lived my life most of the time. What about with, uh, there's a lot of ones, <laughs> ones, there's a lot of people now that are worried about their appearance and how perfect they may look on video or on on uh, on their phones when they're taking selfies. Do you think if you're looking eighty percent of what you would expect? Oh my gosh, that'd be brilliant! If you if you <laughs> if you look at yourself and you think, oh, eighty percent, I like that. Eighty percent. Most people say, oh, I, I hate that. You know, most people really do not like how they look. So if you like yourself eighty percent, you'd be like, oh, it'd be incredible. Really, honestly, if you think you look at yourself and even at this video later on, you think 80%, yeah. that's pretty good. Well, I think that's good enough. That's brilliant. <laughs> I mean, even if it's just like 20% you yeah, like And yourself. I think you also have to yeah. look at yourself from as if someone else is looking like the eyes of your best friend or something. What that's would the best friend, yeah. friend think I'd look like? Yeah, yeah. Somebody who loves me, how do they think I look? <laughs> Because you, you know, you're supposed to love yourself. What, how you but... look is not really how you look. It's how you feel, exactly. isn't it? It's yeah. not how you look because you could be looking great and everyone's saying you're looking great, but you feel yucky inside. Yes, do you remember that lady we used to know? She was so beautiful. We used to, at the, at the gym, we can say the ice queen. Everyone used to call her the ice queen. You know that I can't remember her. Now. Oh my gosh, she was like the most beautiful oh, yes. girl. She yes, was young yes, and yes, yes. she was absolutely gorgeous based yes, on any yes, standard. I remember of... now. But there was inside. There she was... looked a bit like Snow White, didn't she? Snow White when she was asleep. You yeah. mean? Yes, yes, when she wasn't like alive. You know, obviously. In those days, I uh, we hadn't even studied psychology. But I don't we didn't think. know about it. But later, it came out that she wasn't happy in her marriage. Exactly. Oh, in her marriage, <laughs> you sound like some kind of. Oh, this sounds like some kind of old, nineteen forties <laughs> recording. Later, we discovered she was not happy. In her marriage. It's oh, wow. true. It's true. Well, yes. that's why she may have appeared like that. That's why I always used to think that there's, there's something she's wrong. She's so beautiful. I mean, but there was no shine. No. There was no shine. Because inside, yeah, she was sad. She was the sad. The poor girl, yeah, she was sad. And some people thought she was mean and they just well, they just <laughs> didn't like her. But her beauty was outstanding. Well, she was known for her beauty. She was known, but the, 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 she got this, this horrible nickname of being the ice queen because she was like icy, like inside. Mm. And so that like what you were saying, no matter how beautiful you are on the outside, if the inside but is it not... it was like she was like the tip of the iceberg that underneath there was all that side sadness that we didn't know about. Yeah, but you could you could, could perceive, perceive the ice it. on the top. Yeah. yeah, and underneath, yes, there was a lot of sadness. There and must now, have been have more. Have you seen her lately now? Because she's in a happy relationship. No, now. I've never seen I her again. I wonder what she looks like now. I bet you she's different. Probably, yeah. She's I'm probably sure she's shining. different. Already, when you smile more, you you you. <laughs> She she basically wouldn't smile much, would she? Let's face oh, it. No. no. Anyway, yeah. I didn't know her that well, but I could see her in the distance. In the di- yeah, <laughs> like a little bit frightened of her, I think. <laughs> this beautiful person, but so yeah. So it doesn't really matter what you look like if you don't shine. If there's not that kind of glow that comes from the inside. What about also with um 
with like physical exercise, you know, the training. And oh everything. my gosh, the training. What about, you know, if you Definitely. just do 80% of it? Brilliant. 80% would be more than, I'd be more than happy to do 80%. I think I'd do 20% and I'm like, oh, okay. But 20% is a good start. Yeah, I did like 20% of walking the other day on the treadmill. I only walked for like 20 minutes and I thought, well, that's enough, you know, to start off with. Because mm. I haven't done it for ages. So I just did that. Yeah, I was pretty happy. I with mean, it. it's good. I think what happens is that if you're satisfied with the effort that you make, it's going to be a bit. There's going to be a big incremental difference in your life. Absolutely. If you're not satisfied with it, you're living in a state <laughs> so of dissatisfaction. Even if you're a... satisfied with eighty percent of the effort you make, that's good. Well, for me on that day, it was eighty percent because I thought that's what my maximum today is. This. I mean, I've just had eye surgery as mm. well a month ago. So I thought, you know, just start taking, <laughs> start trying to make excuses. But yes, I can't no, really over over exercise. Over no, I mean, I wouldn't over exercise anyway because no. I'm not in that frame of mind at the moment. <laughs> but I'm trying to get there, and I'm going to start doing it more often. I just think simple it's walking. Just... The importance of exercise is for your mental health more than anything. Well, it's heart health as well, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come up with... The mental health is enormous advantages, but it's also for your physical <laughs> and your heart, you know, it's just for exercise is brilliant, isn't it? For all your organs, let alone. So, yes. I say it's good for your mental health. And then the rest follows... Like, obviously, what? not over, exact, not 100% exercise. No, that's not a good training. Gentle journey. exercise, you know, within your limits. Don't yeah, exaggerate within your health without conditions. Without getting obsessive about it. Yeah. Um, because that also can lead to many problems when you're perfectionist. Look, you if you're going to so be exercising 100%, that means you're like, it's almost over-exercising, which is over, the, the overly doing anything is not good for you. No. You know, want to be perfect. Uh, so do you think this 80 per 20% is like living life in moderation? Is that what we're getting around to? Absolutely. What about food? In moderation. 80% of the time you eat good healthy food and 20% of the time you can cheat and eat whatever you want. Yeah, but That's why not do bad. we have to call it cheating? Yeah, I don't know. I hate that actually. You're right. Yeah, we don't <laughs> have to call it cheating. We've been cheat. called, we've been We've been taught that like eating uh, sweets and candy and sugar <laughs> and... Uh, Things that I think are cheating, like fried foods, and uh, that that would be yes, not because because you kind of if you know it's not really good for you, that's why you think oh okay, I'm putting food into my body that's not actually nourishing, nourishing, but, but it, it is nourishing it for me because it's what I want. You might actually need a bit of sugar in that oh, moment. Yeah, no sugar. Yeah, for example, fried foods. For example, well, fried foods, unless you've had the doctor say you shouldn't eat them, which yeah. maybe you have. <laughs> you are, you I know, have you because can I had them. Yeah, yeah because... you can eat them, can't you? Yes, you can eat them with moderation, twenty yes. percent. So even if you apply that to your your food intake for one day, so if eighty percent like you're having good protein and you're eating things that you know are going to be good for your body, uh, veggies and fruits and nuts and whatever you're going to be and drinking good water. Then afterwards, if 20% of that day, you might have something that's not... I bought lentils today for lunch. There you go. That's that's part of our 80%. You bring them all the time. Every time we do a podcast, we eat lentils, which I really like, actually. Which are, they're part of really good, healthy 80%. Well, I've discovered this lentil soup that's, that I make that's really easy to make because it's yeah. just a packet of lentils. You just throw them in, don't you? Well, I don't. <laughs> no, but I mean... <laughs> You throw it in with water and you would you put an onion and, and a carrot in there? Put them in the cooker, in the yeah. pressure cooker because oh, I've cook. got, but you can cook them in a pot. Just yeah. add some water and then a, a t two, one or two onions cut right. up and then a carrot, a couple of carrots, a couple of celery stalks and that's it. And it's ready to go. And some nice pepper, pepperoncino. I added a bit of spicy pepper. Spicy pepper. Mm. Right, like paprika. Mm. Yeah, I I did taste the spice and, last and, time. And yeah, 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 and yeah. a bit of garlic as well, but garlic powder kind of thing. Because it's easy. Because <laughs> it's easy. 
<laughs> but you could just put a, a and then garlic afterwards I put there. it all in the blender because I don't. I mean, I don't mind them, but I prefer it when it's blended. Yeah, a lot of people don't like blended, but that's good because if you didn't blend them, then you could also put some rice near them or something. Yeah, couldn't that's you? good. Yeah, you could have like lentils yeah. with the brown rice, and that's like eighty yeah, percent. I'm isn't not it? bothered with the rice. No, I'm not bothered now either because normally we have some other form of. But then, that... put, then I bought some mackerel. As well to add to the dinner. God, I don't, I'm not crazy about that. I know, that, but, but I make easy. you eat it, don't I? Yeah, Violetta <laughs> does make me eat that. Because it's a fish, isn't it? Because I always they, bring it. Because she Cause brings it. Because it's got it. the omega-3s, hasn't it? Yes, it does, actually. It's very good for eyesight and health, heart health. So I know all of this. But then afterwards, so this morning I had pancakes for breakfast, which I made with oats. And those are my go-to. I make them every day. Um, or nearly ones. every day. Yeah. Well, not always with oats. Sometimes I put carrot flour. But today I put oats, Greek yogurt, a little bit of olive oil. Are they just ro- rolled oats that you you like no, blend? No, oat flour. Uh, oat flour. But you can put them in. I I just I just buy them. No, I bought oats. oat flour. It's easier. Yeah. And it's a, it's. A, I, I never even found that oat biological. flour. Yeah. You just find it. In the What's it called in it in English? Bi- bi- bio. Biological. Isn't mm, it bio? No, I think. Uh, oh, well, well, anyway, it hasn't got the pesticides in it. Organic. Pa- organic. Yeah, organic. It hasn't got the pesticides in it. Well, that's what they well, say. That's what, yeah. What but anyway, any, any... It's 80%. Flour, it's 80%. It? It's fine, and I yeah. put... That, but then the 20% on top of that, I put lovely honey on it to have. But honey is... It's considered it's sugar, a superfood. It? It no, a super it's food. not just sugar. But sometimes I, I do put lemon lemon curd on it or something else, which that's is a pure sugar. Lemon curd, yes. Yeah. Right. So I had that for breakfast with a coffee before coming here. That was a good breakfast. Yeah, and then on the way here, I got stopped by the police. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? So the young they flower checking, police. Checking have you had and a good I breakfast? Al- I also got warned by this friendly car, because in Italy they warn you, they flash yeah, your lights so if the police I mean, are coming. That's cute. It's from well, in the opposite direction, they flash the lights. Flash. So I slowed down a bit, even though I wasn't speeding, but I just thought better slow down a bit more. I drive really slowly. And <laughs> <laughs> so I slowed slow down to exactly, you know, under, under, under. under because here you always go five over anyway and then, then they stopped me and they asked me for my you know my the, the, well, yeah, the driving, driving license, license and that but and I thought goodness me yeah did that make you nervous it a does to me bit. when I they don't stop. like it when they stop me I must say but I've you got was... everything organized now. yeah yeah it helps if you've got it I all. think it goes back to the olden days and a long time ago when they used to stop me and I didn't have I used to have a special thing saying that well, I was British, I didn't have the proper Italian licence. Right, so and that so used to cause a bit more sometimes anxiety. Sometimes they'd ask a few questions, yeah, and things like that. Yeah. But anyway, I don't know what that's got to do with anything. Well, I don't know, we were talking about 80% food, you know, so, I mean, eating like 80%, so you've had a really good breakfast, and that was well, it healthy. Quite healthy. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, very honey. healthy. Yeah. Come on, it it's wasn't just a okay. cake or something. Like... No, but I mean, I consider that to be like the 20%, because it's nice and sweet. Yeah, all right. I mind but you, normal... I put some cinnamon on as well. They say that's that silly. Yeah, that, that's really healthy. Come on, it's not. It's not just a croissant. But I will eat some chocolate later. Yes, that's a twenty yeah. percent, isn't it? So you're like have a couple of pieces of those... chocolate with nuts in. That's my favourite. Yeah, yeah. Which generally is eighty like percent healthy. You know, I love chocolate. <laughs> Don't get me started. That would definitely be my twenty percent. I if you gave me chocolate, I'd, I'd, but it does have to. I do, I do, I don't just binge on any chocolate. I want nice, good, good quality chocolate, you know. But really, any chocolate will be fine. <laughs> Here he is, confessions. <laughs> but not too much though. Yeah, I know. I keep it within the twenty percent limit. So, yeah, I think, so, and that can and apply to anything, food. Also, I think about your the way your house is, your apartment or your house yeah. or wherever you are, yeah, where you're living. True. I yeah. think if you know 80% keep it tidy, you don't have to be 100% tidy. 80% is no. already really good. 80% is brilliant. But sometimes yeah. I go around and I see a mess. Like this morning I left the house and I, I could see, I, I said goodbye to Otto who was on the stairs and I saw yeah. little, little bits of fluff around. And you just dust, left it. And I just just left it yeah because it's fine because i was gonna vacuum but then i thought i just do it later who yeah who cares yeah you're it's your day off today it's like what yeah, mum said day, it's yeah. going to be there when you get back isn't it 
she said that well that the dust will English, always form but yes the yeah. famous English yeah. lady told her she wasn't really famous. She was famous for my mum because she kept on repeating her, her, her quote. Really, she was just a kind... She became really famous for us. For our family. She was like, oh, my mum would live by that rule. What was it she would say? She said, the dust will always be there. But you won't. Yeah, it was something quite poignant. No, it was like, live your life. Because... Live your life because tomorrow you'll sit, the dust will fall again and tomorrow you'll have to dust again. Whereas but... if you don't bother dusting one day and you dust every week. Yes, be, the, dust, the dust. Basically, it was there. dust once a week. <laughs> uh, my mum took that take on it and she would say, I'm not dusting every day. The dust always comes back. Yeah, but I, th I thought it was like quite, you know, significant. Well, it was significant because we turn to dust, don't we? Yeah. In the end. Yeah, we do actually, yeah. So we don't need to dust all our lives because we'll be dust one day. Yeah, so you better enjoy your life now. <laughs> that was definitely the meaning, yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. Well, well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's killed us <laughs> I don't really want to end on this rather sombre note, but yes. But it's a sombre note, but it's but it like, you... live, don't be a perfectionist because if you, I mean, you, you know, can't be, if you're is... really enjoying your life and you're living like that, hey, some of the geniuses are doing well but, on but it. No, but definitely but, in one area, in one yeah, area in if one you area. want to excel. Yes, go And for you it. can excel, but then don't get <laughs> over preoccupied if your house is a mess yeah and you can't if you're not the perfect mum or dad or the perfect we never will be or the perfect host and, and you know things but you're excelling if in your one wardrobe, passion if the way you look isn't like what you would really want to look like you know also that is another thing yeah? yeah you can't always keep up with everything you can't keep up with everything and everything you see as well and you're getting fed to is not real so nowadays we have to i think we have to be in today's age we have to be even more careful yes because we we're not just looking at our next door neighbor we're looking at celebrities and influencers and, and normal people, people that, that are being brushed up yeah, yeah are just have got their filters on and people that are just they're reflecting a life that isn't real and maybe if you know them you 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 realize how sad their lives are maybe they're not hopefully for them they're not they have really fulfilling and happy lives but that doesn't make us feel as if we should feel any less than they are we're all guilty of it even ourselves what we yeah. put up on social media is not a real reflection of our everyday life well, no. you might see some other moments when we're not you know <laughs> always uh, with our makeup on and always exactly. looking glam and always happy and being the english sisters there's so much of our lives that you don't see and and but but that's what it's like and they're imperfect and they're messy and there's um uh, illnesses and stuff going on and and that that's just life isn't it it's uh, what are you laughing because <laughs> it's true isn't it I mean, the true. stress is you get up life. in the morning you put your makeup on I mean, you yeah. get washed and dressed and you make the best of your day you live you make live your 80 percent of your day yes and yes. i think if you can keep your mind calm <sighs> taking a deep breath yeah and do your little things you'll be okay you'll be definitely okay that's how we live our lives anyway so let us know if you're going to do this or if you already do this or if yeah. you're on the if you're on the other side if you're a perfectionist or if you're on the other side of that scale which you where you've never really you know tried to do anything you've never strived to do anything and you feel as if maybe your life would be a bit better if you did 80 percent more in your favor yes yeah. Because you could also be on that scale. Yeah, you could also just be trying 20%. And, yeah. You know, so maybe think, mm, mm. If I, yeah, I I'll could. go for it. Today. I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Get that energy. Get and go the for energy it. and yeah, get definitely. going. <laughs> Ready, steady, go. So come and see us on Instagram at Get Real with English Sisters on YouTube at the english sisters and twitter wherever well it's not called twitter anymore x really on, oh, x. Yeah, on x see you there see you there bye, -bye. bye, -bye. lots of love and smiles from the english, english sisters, sisters.